Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous tour review. Today, we're taking a look at the Slaughter's Marauders Lynx Tank. This is the medium-sized vehicle released in the Slaughter's Marauders sub-team of G.I. Joe in 1989. The action figures for the Slaughter's Marauders toy line were all repaints of older G.I. Joe action figures. The tanks were also repaints, but they each got some sort of unique retooling to make them seem new and fresh. The Lynx is a retool of the G.I. Joe Wolverine. You can see all the similarities in the body. Instead of having the rooftop missile launcher system, the Lynx has been fitted with an all-new turret piece and the cannon from the G.I. Joe a motorized battle tank. The Lynx is decked out in dark green, light green, and brown. It looks really nice in this paint scheme. I really like the Slaughter's Marauder camo. They left out the baby blue that was featured on a lot of the figures, and that really helps make the tanks look cool. The Lynx features a single seat in the front here, just like the Wolverine did. I kind of think it was a missed opportunity when they retooled this turret to not put a seat up there. It would be kind of cool to be able to have a driver as well as a gunner on this vehicle. The Lynx features some classic stickers like the G.I. Joe logo and American flag, as well as some fun Cobra Kill signs, and the Slaughter's Marauders logo. Along with the rotating and elevating cannon, the Lynx also features a removable engine compartment. The Lynx originally came with a tow strap that would be attached here, Mine is missing that piece, so I can't really show it to you, but that came with the original Wolverine. The tank has four points on it where you could attach that tow cable to use it to tow other vehicles or the Lynx itself out of trouble. When talking about towing, it's also important to point out that the Lynx also has the standard tow hook in the back there. As a kid, I remember thinking that this whole Slaughter's Marauders unit was like a big artillery unit, and it would have been really great if they had made a Slaughter's Marauders MMS, mobile missile system, that can be towed behind these tanks. I like the tanks that Hasbro released for the Slaughter's Marauders toy line, but I think a repaint of the Triple T tank would have been really cool for this line. I guess they didn't want to reissue that because they had done it as a Night Force vehicle already, but I think it was a real missed opportunity, especially if they had been able to retool that to add some sort of new weapon system to it. That could have been really cool. I don't have the largest tank from the Slaughter's Marauders line, so I have to use my Lynx as my troop carrier. Let's go, soldiers! Yo, Joe! Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. If you're at JoeCon, safe travels home.